Hello everyone, my name is Rohit and today we'll be looking at how to install Scoop on AWS Elastic MapReduce. Map so before we go there, uh, what you're really going to do is we're going to take the Amazon EMR uh, instance and uh, try to install Scoop on it and make Scoop import from a MySQL database before we can do any map reduce on the imported data. So step one is we need to set all the S3 buckets. So we're gonna have three buckets over here. One is gonna be the scoop scripts bucket in which we're gonna put in the installation script, the script to actually import using scoop, uh, the required binaries of scoop and um, JDBC connection driver. Then we're going to have an EMR logs folder, a bucket, where we can see how the EMR uh, run is being processed. So we're going to see um, logs for daemons, nodes, and steps over there. And finally, we're going to have an imported data folder in which EMR, in which scoop, which is running on EMR, would be importing data from MySQL to S3. So the S3 buckets looks like this, but let's just go and look at how it actually looks. So this is my S3 buckets. This is my scoop scripts where you can see install.sh and import.sh being two scripts. And I've got binaries for MySQL and JDBC connector and scoop binary. Then I've got email logs where you will see that for each run, there's a new folder being created. And in that, you can see there are logs for steps, nodes, and things like that. So you will see that for each step, there's a different folder. And then we've got standard logs like std, error, out, syslog, and things like that. Finally, we're gonna see that the data is getting imported in imported data. And this folder will have the date on which data was imported, prepended, uh, appended to it. So that's how we're gonna know that new data has arrived. Now, this is how the install scoop.sh looks like. What we're really doing is we're trying to go into the Hadoop directory and we are downloading the scoop binary from S3 and we're using Hadoop FS like as if it is HDFS. So, we are downloading it from S3, we are untarring it, then we are uh, also downloading the JDBC MySQL connector, untarring it, and finally copying the MySQL JDBC driver inside Scoop for it to run. Once all that is done, our next step would be to actually run Scoop. In this case, you can see that we have this command called a Scoop import where we connect into a MySQL database. Uh, the username, passwords, and everything are mentioned over here. And at the end, you will see that instead of dumping data to HDFS, we're dumping data to S3, and we're just appending the date and time to that. So what we're doing for MySQL is we are actually, I'm just hosting a RDS uh, MySQL, and this is my host. And this is my port. I just kept this database open to the whole world just to make things easy for me. I won't go into how I have actually installed the Amazon RDS. So uh, I actually went and downloaded the Scoop 1.4.4 204 Alpha version. Actually, this particular uh, binary, and I had downloaded this particular binary from this particular page and they all appear in the scoop scripts bucket. Now we're gonna go to the database. This is where I've connected to the MySQL database using MySQL Workbench. You can see that there are three rows over here. Very simple, I got ID, the first name, last name, and last modified date. Nothing too fancy over here. Coming back to our PDF, we showed uh, the RDS, we showed the data. And next step is to actually start the EMR cluster. Uh, here is the summary of this. We're gonna have 
two steps when you start the EMR cluster. The first step we're going to call as uh, install scoop step, in which we're going to use the standard uh, script runner jar of EMR, and we're going to point it to our install scoop uh, uh, shell, cell script. Similarly, for import scoop, we're going to again use a standard script runner jar and point it to our import scoop. Uh, all that such file. So how does it look? Let's just go ahead in EMR and try to do that. So, so far, um, I had run a previous EMR run, so I'm just going to clone it. So when I clone it, it's fast and we'll know everything and I'll just run it through what I have done. So let's say I'm going to call this scoop import 4 termination protection. You can say yes or no. That's not important for this particular thing. However, we are pointing the logs to our EMR logs bucket. And that's how we can see the logs and see how the EMR uh, is progressing. I've chosen the 3.2.1 Amazon, which is actually 2.40 Haroop. I have removed any applications like Pig or Hive just to uh, save time. I have not done any special thing on a file system, neither on the configuration side. All I've done is uh, used my own EC2 key. That's because I like to go in and see how things are actually running. Uh, default roles, no bootstrap action, and this is what actually we do. So when we say install scoop, what we're doing is we are saying the name of the custom jar is install scoop. We are pointing to the script runner, and then we are pointing to our um, install scoop.sh. Just make sure it doesn't have any CRLF um, because if you're working on Windows and you're trying to upload it, well, you're going to get issues. You just make sure you don't have any CRLFs over here. That's the first thing. The second thing is also very straightforward. We're just pointing it to the import all sh uh, shell, shell script. Now, having done that, all I'm going to do is just fire this cluster. And this thing takes quite a while. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes to come up. Um, and you will see that uh, um, the master will get a provision first, then there'll be bootstrap on a the master, then you bootstrap on the core. When both of these start running, that is where the steps start to execute. So for now, I'm going to uh, pause my recording and come back when we make some progress over here. You can now see that the master has actually bootstrap. We'll wait for the core to also bootstrap and start running, and then we'll focus on the steps. Now you can see both the core and master are running, and you will see that the first step of setup in Hadoop debugging, which is kind of added implicitly, is running. And we'll keep on watching this, and we'll see that the install scoop step goes through and the scoop import steps goes through fine. Now you can see that the install scoop step is going through. If you keep on learning to this view logs, after a while log files get created and you can access them over here. So you're just going to keep on watching and we'll let this run till the scoop import step goes through fine. So scoop import is now running. These log takes a while, but you can always go and look up over here. Uh, there's a delay between um, how the logs are basically uh, created on the machine and how they're reflected on S3. So you just have to wait for a while and see. So you can keep on refreshing this and observe how this thing goes through. So now you can see that all the saves are complete. And if you see logs, it takes a while. Let's try to go here. So you can see that all the steps are going through. If you look at STD error, you can look at what's happening. This is Haroop's uh, step. We're just gonna go look into. Or on step. And I guess this is an older log. So let's just go to 
S3, go to imported data. And now we can see there's a new user profile being created. And if you actually open this up, you will see that data is appearing as we said. 1AA, the date. And if you open a second one, this is how Scoop imports it. And if I do this again, you'll see that it's 2BB. So now we have imported almost all the rows. So we know how this works. The next thing is to basically go to the EMR logs and understand what happened over here. So uh, it's difficult to tell which logs are from which run, but as you can take a look over here, everything went through successfully. And logs take a while to come over here. So we have successfully imported data with the install scoop and the scoop import step. And you can see the data is over here. So I'm gonna reflect the same information on my blog, rohitkatul.com. You can refer to this PDF on that blog for actually getting your scoop installed on AWS Elastic MapReduce and have it import data. So thank you so much.